Endeavor, and Houston is here with you for another great day. Hi, this is Mike Drake at the University of Arizona. Can you hear me? Yeah, Mike, we get you loud and clear. Welcome aboard. We're on board the Japanese module on the space station right now. Well, as you can hear, there's a lot of applause in the room. Um, we have a lot of different people here today. Uh, we have staffers and friends from your wife, Congressman Gabby Gifford's office, who are with us. We have a number of first responders from the fire department that are with us. Uh, most importantly for us, I think, is we've got a lot of middle school students who are going to be the ones asking you questions. And uh, we also have a number of, of University of Arizona Space Grant students, which uh, your wife Gabby has been very strongly supportive of, a great program at NASA. Let me bring up our first middle school student. I'm going to ask her to say her name and ask her question. Hi, my name is Lena Ariaga from Gridley Middle School. My question is, what feeling did you have when you first looked out the window? Well, let me, let me first say, you know, for everybody there, welcome aboard the space station. It's uh, a great opportunity for us to have a chance to talk to the folks there back in Tucson. I know I probably know some people in the, in the office. We can't see you. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to have the opportunity to do this event. We just got up. I imagine you guys are getting ready to go to sleep this morning. Um, with regard, uh, or this evening, with regards to your question, though, for me, when I first saw the Earth, it was over 10 years ago. I very distinctly remember it. I was the pilot on the same space shuttle that's docked just a little bit to out that hatch and to our left, space shuttle Endeavor, and at Mach 15, when you're going into orbit, the space shuttle rolls the head, uh, to heads up. So it's upside down and it rolls heads up. And I looked over my right shoulder out the window. You could see this big blue planet out there. And it's really like, even though it was 10 years ago, it's like it was yesterday. Very, very spectacular view. And it's pretty exciting to get to go into space. I'm going to add Thanks. to that answer uh, only because uh, uh, I experienced um, my uh, first daytime liftoff about a week and a half ago, and uh, to my left was Commander Kelly, and I was the pilot in the right seat, just like uh, Mark was recalling t from 10 years ago. My first flight was three years ago, and it was at night, and so uh, this past launch was my first day uh, launch as well. And uh, looking over my right shoulder, I was amazed at how uh, the Atlantic Ocean accelerated by. Uh, I do recall looking out the window and Mark said, focus, because uh, as the pilot, I'm supposed to focus on the engines and other systems. But I was amazed at what it looked like out the window. So I just wanted to share that with you. In Station Houston on Space Ground 2 for Mike, we wanted to congratulate you on breaking the duration record, 377 days and counting. Our hearty congratulations. Thanks, Lucia, and uh, thanks to all the uh, people I've flown with and all the folks who have uh, supported us from the ground. It's been a great uh, ride, but honestly, I hope this uh, record that we set here is going to get broken by uh, future people, and this will be uh, just a, uh, I guess, a ripple in the wind of uh, humans conquering space. So uh, for, for, for the moment, though, I'm going to enjoy it. Thanks and congratulations. And it's been a real joy, and we also share that hope with you. Lucia, just so you know, Mike's planning to break that record tomorrow. Good deal. So, hey, guys, uh, what do a bunch of spacewalkers do uh, after all the spacewalks are done? War More maintenance. <laughs> What's this? This is a carbon dioxide removal assembly. The space Look, looks like a truck engine. And we're taking it up completely apart to change out that bed in there. In the middle. Right in the middle. middle. Bed. Everything's so going to come off, and everything's going to go back on. No problem. It's a full day job, but uh, we can handle it. It looks like something that uh, a bunch of guys who've been on the space station a long time would know how to do. We're the can-do crew. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been working on this thing? A couple hours. Yeah, I know you guys have been hiding in here. But hey, for those of you watching NASA TV, if you fix things at home, anything like fixing your own furnace, working on your own car, you know, any little thing, that you, any maintenance kind of work you do at home is good space flight training. That's true. Absolutely. All right. Hey, there's one other thing in here that I noted. There's, uh, isn't there like an experiment over here that's like really fragile? 
That's called BCAT, and it's uh, binary colloids. Colloids. Uh, basically, it's looking at how uh, colloidal particles Got in it. a fluid. Watch your yeah, thank you. How colloidal particles in a fluid uh, uh, separate, and uh, it, it's over a long period of time in zero g. And, it, and uh, you see, see a camera there set uh, set up to take special pictures of that. It's, uh, it's been going on in space station for a long time, and they're learning a lot about how fluids behave in space. And that's a that's a really neat experiment. Tell you what, yeah. uh, Taz has a couple PhDs, and you know why he understands stuff like that. And then looking up here, here we see the uh, JLP. One by important. another can do crew. Oh yeah, a can do crew. Yeah, you betcha. Um, what's interesting right here is we've done a lot of our PR shots on at this particular location. And uh, that's what we kind of hold our feet uh, down with, these little uh, foot restraints. What's interesting, though, is they're located not exactly aligned with the hatch. They're actually pretty far back. And so if you just jump straight up, you might hit that hatch right there. I think we might have seen that, that earlier did today. Did that happen to you, Box? Yeah, it did. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, yeah, wait, show wait, me a jump. Show it, me a jump. Here we go. All right. Here Both go. of you. Woo. Up you go.